tonight, more people are buying those safety harnesses to protect their dogs when they're in the car. That's right, but ABC 7 News has discovered that many of those harnesses are not as safe as they claim to be. So tonight, our new traffic reporter Amanda Meadows joins us with why you can't believe everything you read on the packaging of these pet restraints. Hi, Amanda. Hi, Allison. Several manufacturers market their pet restraints as being crash tested, but we have found out some of them are not telling you the whole truth, like the fact that the products actually failed those crash tests. The dog you see being thrown around in this crash test is a specially designed stuffed animal with sensors. The Center for Pet Safety in Reston is using this new technology to put pet harnesses to the test. We had a 100% failure rate of the products that we tested. And these simulated crashes at 30 miles an hour, none of the harnesses worked, even though several of the manufacturers advertise them as being crash tested. We had one the other day that we tested. There's a metal carabiner that says on it that it's tested to 2,000 pounds, the rest of the harness failed miserably. So how do the manufacturers get away with this? Because there aren't, there's no oversight of this industry, they don't necessarily tell you everything. What we're doing right now is we're making a... Dr. Sherman Knapp, a veterinary orthopedic surgeon. Internally in the dog's knee. He's operated on many dogs injured in car crashes. And the dog went flying forward actually into the dashboard and actually broke its radius in the arm, so broke its front leg. He says even though pet harnesses are not yet what they should be, they're still better than nothing. Owners really should be buckling in their dogs just like they buckle in their children. Dog owners that do use harnesses say it gets easier the more you use them. He's gotten used to them and he does really well now. I think you just need to get them used to it. And before you buy a safety harness, make sure you check the manufacturer's website and look for the full crash test video to make sure it actually passed the test. Now, right now, the Center for Pet Safety is doing a new round of tests on the latest harnesses to hit the market, and we'll keep you posted on, which, on those results, which should be out this summer. And we've got more information on just how to keep your pet safe in the car. All you have to do is go to WJLA.com and check out this story. Very good. All right. Well, first of all, welcome aboard. Thank Make you it very official much. here. We want to welcome Amanda. She's going to be reporting on all of our traffic issues for Good Morning Washington here every single morning. Thank Today you. was your first day? It was. How'd yes, it it's been a long day. I've been up <laughs> since about 4 a.m. So it went great. I'm, I'm just happy to be here. And it's great to be over at WTOP. It's, mm -hmm. it's kind of right in the middle of, I would say, like a beehive. Mm -hmm. You know, there's just bees buzzing all around. But instead of honey, they're making news. There, there you go. go. <laughs> and traffic. <laughs> and traffic. And if you need an extra alarm clock, I have lots of those I can pass along. <laughs> I might take you up yeah, on that. Yeah, and it's just such a great team in the morning, on and off camera, so welcome. Thank you good very much. Okay, all right, now get out of go, go take a nap. <laughs> yeah. All right, we'll just see you in the morning, bed. all right? Bye-bye. <laughs> all right. Okay, now let's see what's